Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is episode 6 of our Versus series and I know we took a long time off from filming the last one to now. If you're not up to date my Versus series is a clash between two epic Halo heroes and this time we've got the Breacher exosuit versus the Skyfire exosuit. Which let me tell you, I started this video idea when I unboxed the Skyfire exosuit. I planned to just unbox it on a live stream. The live stream was so much fun, I decided to do a diorama straight after that one. And you know, if you're doing a diorama, what better thing to work with than two of these exosuits? The Breacher exosuit. It's actually one of my most popular reviews I've ever made. People really enjoyed watching that one. It's perfect to square him up against this new Skyfire exosuit. And let me tell you, I had a ton of fun making this diorama. It turned turned out so, so great, honestly. Like, the fact that I had this Breacher exosuit leaping through the air is the cream of the cake, the frosting on the cake, if you would say, and everything else that came with it. So let me break this down piece by piece. First of all, I started with four square base plates. This one is technically not a square base plate. It's many built up on top of each other, but I put them all, I, I wanted to have some kind of perfect square, some symmetry, and I started with rocks and grasslands. I thought it was fun if the hero was coming from the grasslands and the banished from the rocky dirt. I thought that was the perfect juxtaposition. And then there had to be a lot of dead bodies. Before I even put the exosuits on, I knew I wanted to have a lot. I decided to go with the Halo 3 Marines from A New Dawn and you'll guess why. They are the perfect color coordinated scheme to this prototype exosuit. And it was actually one of the live stream commenters that suggested me having the prototype exosuit as a damaged sort of uh, casualty on the floor. This looks like the prototype exosuit. It's actually not. This is the Sergeant Johnson Green Machine exosuit. It's just identical in its basic skeleton. So I stripped it down and then I just added a marine head. So it looks exactly like the prototype exosuit, which is unfortunately in England. I just didn't want Johnson being a casualty in this diorama, guys. I couldn't do it to poor Johnson. I also really like that jump pack brute. He's just aiding his brother from the back. And the main clash is, of course, between these two exosuits. For the Banished, I just added one of each, an Elite Ultra, Elite Minor, a Brute, and a Grunt in the background there. And then I just added some foliage. I wanted some water as well. I always like having a bit of aqua there. And that's got some, uh, some kind of uh, aquatic plants as well. All of the foliage, all of the background scenery pieces are from Mega Constructs Creations. And if you check on my channel, you can see an unboxing I did a few videos before this of those boxes. They are perfect for any dioramas. The Skyfire exosuit, I obviously had to add some muzzle flares. They're slowly falling off, but I'm going to secure them better in the future. And he's firing straight down on the Breacher exosuit. The Banished exosuit, I just had to have the shield obviously deflecting a bullet there. It reflects off really nicely as well. And then I had to have a Marine being thrown through the air. You can see how I attached him with that little peg. Very easy, very nifty way of doing it and the jetpack on the back of this Skyfire exosuit. It took me by surprise. Mega Constructs doesn't even really advertise that backpack, but I see it as a key feature. I also love the sights on the machine guns for the exosuit. I also love how he's just holding them. He does not care. Yeah. Banished versus Skyfire. The Breacher, it actually worked perfectly to have a little transparent rod attached from his leg into the leg of the prototype exosuit. You can barely see it. You can see the Skyfire connection a little bit more, but it's still okay. I added this little translucent green piece just to give it a bit of uh, maybe propulsion engine flare. Yeah, guys, the, I, I just, I, I'm delighted by this. I'm going to play a time lapse after this is over, showing exactly how I I made this. I also made sure to drop some cool weapons into the scenery like shock rifles, concussion rifles, rail guns, all painted, and a nice upgraded painted gravity hammer for my monkey boy, for my brute. And yeah guys, please do let me know in the comments down below what you think of this diorama. I just had a ton of fun making it. It's quite simple, but also pretty rich in detail and tells a story of an epic clash between two mech warlords. So badass. Yeah. And 
and please do make sure to check out the live stream where I built this initially. It was a ton of fun. There's also a live stream before that of me unboxing the Skyfire exosuit and my initial thoughts on the build. And then make sure to keep it with the domain for all the latest dioramas. Check out twitch.tv slash motion domain for all of my upcoming live streams. You have a great day out there, guys. You stay awesome, you stay safe, and the exosuit is signing off. Shoo.